any sisters have any questions assalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My question is regarding a person who we cannot call him as atheist or discuss the entire discussion will take time. But the basic thing is we gave him certain uh, scientific facts, uh, certain logical facts, and in spite of that, the person was not uh, convinced. Like, and everything got stuck where it comes to faith. So, can't we really explain this concept of faith, or is it not possible for us to convince a non-Muslim regarding faith? Because there are many things for which even science does not have answers. so how do we go about and uh, also uh, i would like to know that how do you keep yourself updated with the scientific uh, innovations or maybe the inventions new discoveries that are coming up is there two questions that we have spoken to an atheist or a person not atheist but doesn't believe in islam we try to convince him with scientific facts archaeological facts they agree but when it comes to faith we can't answer how do we convince faith and how to update ourselves with scientific facts this time regarding faith is concerned with scientific facts we can talk about faith but how you go about the technique therefore quran says in surah nahl chapter 16 verse 25 udu ila sabili rabbika bilikma wal maadad al hasna wajad bil lati hasan invite all the way of the lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best most gracious so with science you can prove to them about faith now how you have gone about is a different technique so therefore you have to ask the person who knows so depending what your discussion is like faith i have faith that this is the word of allah subhanahu wa taala it's faith how do you prove it then i talk about science So if you see my video cassette Quran modern science or read my book Quran modern science inshallah it shows you a way this is my faith it is the word of Allah subhanahu wa taala i can even prove it scientifically so sister there are many things which you can prove scientifically if you have the knowledge of Quran and science there are some things sister which you cannot prove scientifically for example if they say that how can you prove there is life after death so then you have to use logic and for that you can refer to my video cassette concept of peace in islam on my question answer session where i have proved how to logically prove about the concept of hereafter one of the simple ways is that suppose the quran speaks about 100 things for example out of which 80% of what the quran has spoken today we have come to know that it is established scientific fact the other 20% of what science for the quran speaks it is ambiguous neither right neither wrong so my logic says when 80% is 100% correct and the remaining 20% neither right neither wrong ambiguous so my logic says that inshallah even this 20% will be right it's not a blind belief it's a logical belief of the 20% which is ambiguous science hasn't proved it right neither wrong for example existence of jinn about angels about here after science hasn't proved neither has science proved that it is wrong so my logic says that inshallah even this will be right so this is one way of proving and the other way of proving is going logical aspect which you see my video cassette sister so depend what faith you're talking about i talking about faith in quran i talking faith in allah how to prove what allah if you see my video cassette is the quran god's word so faith and different things faith in allah faith in the messengers faith in the angels faith in the hereafter so sister depend upon each faith maybe the style how you convince differs so if you see my video cassette alhamdulillah most of the major points of faith have been covered in my very different cassette sister and regarding the second question that how can you update yourself With scientific knowledge, etc. Sister, so read the scientific journals and the books. So, if you read the scientific books, there are several scientific books coming out every month, weekly, daily. There are books coming out on science. Read that. Or, if time doesn't permit to read all, then you can read those books which are being written by Muslims on compatibility. You know, there are many books which come out, if not daily, then at least once a month or once a fortnight. there are books coming out at least on some aspects of quran and science there are journals for example saudi arabia there is a journal the name is ijaz ilm saudi arabia which talks only about islam and science quran and science, nothing is the journalist they read that journal and you get updated there are journals in arabic there are journals in english there are scientific journals muslim science journal coming out from india from aligarh i think it comes out once in 6 months if i'm not mistaken so there are mass ma is come by mass So there are journals coming out. If you read these journals, you are updated with knowledge, and even come to what is spoken. So this is a shortcut. Only the Muslim journal. If you have more time, you can read the other journal and think for yourself what verses of the Quran match, and you can come out with new things yourself. Inshallah. Hope that answers the question, sister.